Kelly Nash, all that and much more on Quick Pitch presented by DraftKings. A Sunday, the White Sox came into the ninth inning against the Angels down 6 nothing, on their way to another tough loss and a disappointing start to their season. But then the Sox rallied for five runs in that ninth and had the bases loaded until Gavin Sheets grounded out to end the game. That ninth inning might just have turned around Chicago's season as they woke up Sunday, winners of five in a row, a season high, climbing their way to 500 for the first time since April 21st. And on Sunday, they looked primed to win their sixth straight, scoring early again against Boston. Staff has not allowed more than two runs in any of their starts, which is good because their offense has only averaged just under four runs per game during the streak. And on Sunday, once again, the formula of good pitching and just enough offense continued for Houston as seen. On. If there were two players that caused Yankees fans some frustration early on in the season, they would be Garrett Cole and Glaber Torres. When the Bombers left Detroit, they were seven and six. Their all-star second baseman was hitting below the Mendoza line, and their ace righty had yet to record a win or pitch six innings in a start. Well, all that has changed. Glaber is slugging over 500 with four extra base hits and 10 RBIs since that point, while Garrett had not allowed a run in either of his last two starts. And both men continue to do work on Sunday in the first game of the double header. It win like that, you want to get right back on the field. After a tough loss like that, you want to forget it as quickly as possible. Neither team got their wish as the Mets and Phillies were rained out for consecutive days. New York's momentum was slowed while Philadelphia had to replay in their minds what went wrong. With a Mother's Day twin bill ahead and the Mets see sending Max Scherzer to the mound, you would think the Amazons would start off on the right foot. The reigning NL MVP had other ideas. Sportsbook. In baseball this season, with teams like the Mets and Brewers off to hot starts, the Padres rebounding from their late season decline from last season. In the National League, the Dodgers have been somewhat of an afterthought, making them almost, dare we say, underrated. The Dodgers, aka the odds on favorite to win the World Series, entered Sunday tied with the Yankees for best record in the majors. They have the lowest ERA and LA averaged the most runs per game. On Sunday night, they went for the sweep against the Cubs with another man who has flown under the radar, Walker Bueller, taking the hill. Over the last five seasons, only multiple Cy Young winners have a lower ERA. This was one of the gems from Mother's Day. Here are the rest of your Capital One premiere plays. I have to run it back to how beautiful a day it was across MLB celebrating mamas near and far. The first pitches from the moms of major leaguers, the special bats, hats, the cleats, the all pink catcher's gear. Nothing better than Mother's Day featuring baseball. And to my mom, Nancy, and all the moms out there, one day celebrating you simply is not enough. Thank you for all you do. And we'll see you back here Monday after all the action. Bye, guys.